Namaste everyone and welcome to Data Millennials. Hey everyone, hope you are well and I welcome you all in our Google Data Studio series. Before we go ahead with the introduction of Google Data Studio, let me ask you one thing. Are you ready to take data visualization to the next level or do you want to be one step ahead of all the visualization experts out there in the market? If your answer is yes, then let's go and see what is Google Data Studio. So this is the interface of Google Data Studio. It is a part of the Google Analytics 360 suite. Originally it was introduced in mid of 2016. It's a high-end Google Analytics Enterprise package and since most of us like me and you, we cannot afford to spend that much of money or huge amount of money for an analytics tracking tool, we typically opt for free version of Google Analytics, right? But Google has decided to give those of us giving us this free version of Google Analytics a taste of what possible what is possible with Google Data Studio. So the question is what is exactly this Google Data Studio? Well you can think of Google Data Studio as a dashboard or a report creation tool which gives you everything you need to turn your client's analytics data into informational easy to understand reports through data visualization. The reports are very very easy to read as well as very easy to share and even the customization with each of these reports for each and every client is very easy. So this is how the Google Data Studio looks like at the initial. So here you will see this blank report on which if you click on it then Google Data Studio will open a blank report for you. There are tutorial reports and the sample reports which are presented by Google for you so that you can go through it and try to understand how to visualize and reflect your data in more promising way. Now let me show you what we will be covering in this entire Google Data Studio series tutorial. So in this entire series we will be covering around 59 videos in which we will, going, we will be going from basic to intermediate and intermediate to higher level for each and every attribute of Google Data Studio. So for example, we'll start with the introduction to Google Data Studio, which is this video you are watching right now. Then we will, in the second video, we'll see how to create Data Studio account, then advantage and limitations of Google Data Studio, how to create a new report. And for each and every attribute that we will have given to us by Google in Google Data Studio, we'll go through each and every one step by step and we'll try to figure out how we can represent our data in more promising way and more in, in a beautiful way basically. So we'll have around 59 videos in this series. Till 58th video, I will be providing information about how you can use different graph charts and how you can manage data, how you can add multiple data sources, how you can add shapes, maps into Google Data Studio and everything. And our last video would be how to create a dashboard in 60 minutes in Google Data Studio where we will put, we will take the, in the data set from a real life example and we will show you how, how you can create a beautiful dashboard, beautiful and dynamic dashboard in Google Data Studio. So we have reached at the end of this video. In our next video, I'll show you how you can create your Google Data Studio account. Hey, if you find this video insightful, then do check out other videos and hit the like and subscribe button.